First here at 530, a story you'll only see right here on Tin Tampa Bay. A St. Pete police officer sharing his experience after a scary close call. But my cruiser was just hit by a car. That fast. This was during a traffic stop on Interstate 375 West. And Tin Tampa Bay's Angelicia Bruton is at the entrance of the 5th Avenue North Ramp. That is where that close call happened. And Angelicia, we saw that officer, a really close call here. He did get hurt. Could have been so much worse. You sat down with him. How's he doing? Courtney, it's been about 10 days since that crash happened, and the officer is expecting to make a full recovery. He says his most serious injury is a fractured pinky. But imagine looking and seeing a car coming straight at you. Officer Kenneth C. says that's what happened to him. He thought for sure he'd be dead. Now he's turning his close call into a call for action for Tampa Bay drivers. It's a routine traffic stop. I exited the vehicle, made contact with the driver, explained to him the reason for the stop got his information, went back to my car to run it. Turned into a near-death experience for Officer C. I had enough time to understand that that was probably gonna happen, but I didn't have enough time to have an emotional response to it. Officer C says he checked for oncoming traffic, got out of his car, and came face to face with a car heading right at him. I get rescue out here on 375, please, on 10 4, but my cruiser was just hit by a car. The car was obviously going very fast. I could see that it was lined up with my body, so I kind of expected to have that be the last that I was going to probably be here. Um, I just I thought I was going to die. That car bending C's cruiser door all the way back, knocking the magazine off his belt and hitting his arm in the process. It didn't hurt, it just went numb. I felt the impact and it went numb. So I figured everything was probably broken. Despite this, C finished his traffic stop. Your license is suspended? He says it's calls like this that you know officers, that? first responders, and roadside assistance crews know so well. I almost just ended up another YouTube video in the academy of, hey, you know, here's another reason why you need to have, a, have your head on a swivel when you're getting out of the car and when you're on stops. In 2023, St. Pete PD issued more than 200 citations related to the move over law, a number C believes is way too high. It's almost one a day, it's a pretty staggering number. It's something he's always feared, but he says he's ready to leave that experience in the rearview mirror. I'm looking forward to kind of getting back into the swing of things and, and making people aware that they need to pay attention when on the road, they need to move over or slow down or think more things like this are gonna happen and they could be a lot worse than they were with me. I mean, you have to be paying attention when you're behind the oh wheel. Goodness. It could have been so much worse. And you saw that officer. He goes and he actually finishes the initial stop. And then Angelicia, other officers, they were able to track down the driver they say hit his cruiser, who they say was behind the wheel, yeah? They did, Courtney. St. Pete police arrested 24-year-old Mackenzie Deaton. She's charged with serious bodily injury involving a hit and run, tampering with evidence, and she was cited for failing to move over. And she's just one of eight people that St. Pete police have cited this year. Coming up at 6, I'll have more on move over citations. Live in St. Pete, Angelicia Bruton, 10 Tampa Bay. Angelicia, thank you.